Okay, this is a working demonstration of how the Viking ice machine works. Okay, so it's a little Viking ice machine. Uh, it harvests ice. It always does clear ice because it keeps the water moving through the freezing process just so that the water won't get any white in it. And then it melts off all the ice from below out of the system so you always have fresh ice in here. Once it gets to its, you know, once it gets to 35 pounds, the system will stop. Uh, what it does is, what it's doing right now is cycling water through there, so uh, it hooks up to a hose, okay? You can hook it up either to a hose or to to a some other type of spigot, you know, in your house. So if you're not doing it outside, you can do it as an indoor. Drains through that hose right there and took the back off of it, just so uh, you can see the works here. Uh, the compressor is on this side right here, okay? That's the compressor that makes everything cold, and that is the reservoir tank that will store water and then pump it out through through this right here. This is where the, the water gets pumped out. So it part, pumps out particulate matter. Freezing lines, those are right here. Everything freezes into the top of this thing. There's no actually there's no actual cooling that happens anywhere else in the unit other than at the top because once the ice is created, it creates its own cool environment. And as you can see, it's well insulated. Um, it, I took the front of this off. This is the front panel right here. So I took this off. This is normally right here. I'm just taking this off for demonstration purposes. What it does is it cycles the water through that right there. That's the sheet that will create the ice. It's running the water through there because it'll start freezing the water. And once it gets to a certain thickness, it, it will drop the ice down onto these grids here. And then these grids will cut it into cubes that size. You kind of get the idea how this works here, okay? And then it all stores down below. There's drainage back there for the ice that melts off. Uh, it's designed so that it melts off all the bad ice so you always have fresh ice. This is the sensor here that senses how high the ice is. Once it gets up to 35 pounds, it's actually pretty cool in there just because of the cooling that's going on up here. But anyway, it's cool in here. Um, it, once it senses that there's 35 pounds, it'll shut itself off because that's the maximum uh, amount of ice that it'll hold. Okay, so you can kind of see it's cycling through right now. And yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, I'll probably shoot video once there's ice in the, in the tank, but that's it for now. Alright, so you can see now that uh, the lines here are frozen. Well, this one's frozen. This is the return line here. So, that one's frozen. So it freezes the top part and uh, the ice does freeze on the shelf only. Uh, it appears that since it freezes from, you know, on the top, the flow of the air goes down, so it does cool the bottom as it goes along. So it does freeze the entire compartment. I misspoke earlier. Uh, still flowing some water through there. Uh, let's, oh, you can see the leading edge starting to get, oh yeah, you can see a, a piece of ice starting to form there. So uh, let's take a measurement here. It looks like, yeah, the ice is below freezing here. So we're, well, 35 degree the ambient. That's probably wrong because that can't be freezing unless it's at least 32 degrees. So there is a, a formation of ice there on that part right there that is freezing. It must be the water running on top that's keeping it warmer, but obviously the ice below it is below 32 degrees because it's freezing. It's starting to form a sheet of ice now. So I'll revisit when it starts to harvest. Okay, so a couple of more details about the ice machine here. So uh, I'll get into how it works a little bit later because the, the manual explains it. Um, here is the on-off switch right here. So it's got an on-off and then it's got a clean switch. So it'll do a self-cleaning mode with that, push into that position. You can hear the, the uh, air blowing through there. That is the coils right behind here, okay? Obviously, you know, air is circulated through here. It's uh, probably drawn in through here and then blown out through here, okay? That's the way it would go. It would have to have some type of circulation of air going through there. So that's the, that's the cooling mechanism and how all that stuff happens. I've already shown you the compressor. And Again, cold line, hot line. I was going to explain something about back here, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. the hose. Now you can use uh, a washing machine hose, you know, or uh, 
maybe some other type of hoses where it, it has to have a, a female fitting on both ends because it's got a female here and a female here. Now you can also put a filter in between there so you can actually screw that into a filter and the filter can go into the machine but you really don't need a filter because the way this works is by having the ice or the water moving over the grid that actually gets frozen the ice all the minerals leave the ice and then they're left in the reservoir which is that piece right here and then the reservoir is drained each time it'll fill up with new ice with new water for the next cycle i think it gives you two quarts yeah it gives you two quarts of water according to the instructions here two quarts of water to freeze each time so that that ice there that's forming on the shelf right there will end up having two quarts it'll use the better part of two quarts it won't use all of the two quarts because some of it's has to have water to drain off okay um, according to the viking manual here this unit uses fractional free freezing to form a slab of ice that's clear and has less mineral content than the water it's produced from so you know be my guest if you want to put a filter in line that's great uh, don't use di water don't use ro water um, those types of waters can corrode the internal components of this unit so you want to be using a fresh water source you know fine you can put a filter in line if you want to it's almost not necessary because of the way this machine works so you know but it just depends on your own personal taste okay um, now when the ice slab reaches the correct thickness determined by the temperature of the evaporator plate which is right under where the ice slab is the electronic control switches are going to switch to the harvest cycle in the in the uh, to harvest the ice slab then the ice slab is going to fall out onto that grid it's going to be cut into three quarter inch squares as it comes out okay it's also going to turn on the the uh, drain valve to drain the reservoir of the remaining deposits that's so that's how the minerals get out of there okay and as again you know this is the drain hose right here it'll go out of that hose so you're going to have to have that hooked up to a, a source where it can drain out from Okay. Uh, anyway, 45 seconds. Then uh, after that, the water's going the water valve is going to open for two minutes, providing two quarts of water to the reservoir for the next ice production cycle. So that's the way it works. Um, the ice machine will keep producing ice until the machine storage bin is full and re restart automatically when the ice needs to be replenished in the storage bin. Now, obviously, you know you can take the ice from this freezer and then put it in your own freezer if you needed a mass quantity of ice. So it'll make 35 pounds in a 24-hour period. That's the rating on this machine per Viking uh, literature. And okay, so we're going along here. So probably the next time I come on, it's going to be going into its uh, harvest cycle. So you'll see that here in uh, in a bit. We're now about probably about 45 minutes into the process. So first process is slower as the machine goes along. The inside of the unit gets cooler and then it starts to cool the water off quicker. So the other uh, sub subsequent ice production cycles as it goes along will get shorter and shorter obviously because the inside ambient temperature is going to be less right now we're at uh where is my i don't have my temperature gauge here anyway i'll show you on the next cycle let me see if i have oh i know where it is let me grab it temperature okay so as i explained uh, cool air goes from top to bottom. So it is cooling the inside compartment here. Right now the inside compartment according to this is uh, 52 degrees. Once the ice drops down there it'll even be cooler and it'll be just above 32 degrees because it wants to be a little bit warmer than that to melt off the, w the bottom layer of ice. So it's always going to keep fresh ice rotating through this machine. Um, and obviously, you know, if you want to keep all the ice that's in there, just put it in your freezer. You know, you, you can keep it that way and it'll keep nice and cool in there. But just uh, be aware that, you know, when you keep the ice in the freezer for an extended period of time, you know, it's going to start to be older ice. It, it could get stale possibly. But if you have a high-end freezer, you know, that's not even going to happen because these high-end freezers uh, circulate air through there pretty well as well. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so that was the moment we waited for. About an hour and a half later, uh, for the first cycle anyway, the ice has actually stopped 
cooling, what it's doing. Okay, that was that was water just running out of this hose right here. It takes all the water out and fills the unit back in for the next harvest cycle. And what it's going to do is it's going to kick that ice slab out of the grid that we just saw. I don't know if I want to open the door to see that because that thing might come out on me here. Uh, anyway, it's going to kick it out of that grid. There's the ice right there, that big thick slab will actually move out towards this grid. As you can see, it's starting to kind of melt off the grid right now. There's heaters in here. It goes through a process of cooling and heating to do everything it wants to do. And that grid will cut it. I'm going to close this door until it actually jams out of, the, out of that grid. You'll probably hear it once it kicks out here. I've got a train going by so you can hear that too. Um, this machine is extremely quiet. It's, it's actually quieter than even the built-in refrigerators that I do, and I, I do a lot of them, as you can see, I've got a unit you know, full of them here. Uh, also, um, the manufacturer, you know, they, they do want you to try to keep this thing in the shade, if possible, out of the sunlight, because it's going to be a lot more efficient, so that's, that's the production time of the ice maker. Uh, the production time increases, obviously, as it gets cooler. So it'll break it down into pounds per day, you know, by how cool the ambient temperature is and how cool the water, the incoming water temperature is. So you always want those two to be as cool as possible. So, you know, if you're going to have this out on a barbecue island, just keep it tucked under the island out of the sunlight, you know, and everything will work just great for you. Uh, so right now, you know, this is California, so we got clear skies and everything. Pretty hot today. It was, uh, you know, it was like mid 80s, approaching 90 degrees. Uh, ground temperature right now is 82 degrees and the temperature inside the unit as we saw earlier was uh, like 55 at the floor but it's going to continue to get cooler as it fills up with ice so you can kind of see that going on there too obviously the ice slab has to be below freezing for it to do its thing and I think I, I think I did show you the slab right yeah. ah there it goes okay slab just got kicked out onto wow just in time slab just got kicked out onto the uh, grid and now it's starting to do another harvest as this grid here is being cut by these wires. I don't want to touch that. It's actually a low voltage source that melts that that grid into uh, melts it into uh, you know little pieces of ice. And I'm going to close this, let it drop. Once it drops, we're going to have ice down at the bottom, and it's going to be freezing a second cycle once it goes through there. Um, the uh, the hose clamp up there is actually in the way so that's why there was a formation in the middle there so I'm going to tuck that hose clamp out of the way just so the ice stays clear the whole time that there's no there is no still ice anywhere in there and it'll all be clear like the rest of the slab that you see there but you kind of get the idea of how that works and so let me just go through the process one more time when you first turn it on it fills that reservoir in the back there fills that reservoir full of water and the water circulates through the top here and that slab back there right there that slab starts to freeze and it forms a thickness of ice that thick when it gets to a certain thickness which the machine senses it cuts it off and then it throws it onto this cutter here this grid cutter which will cut the ice into chunks that size I, I think it was three quarters of an inch and the chunks will go down below and fall into the tray. And the process goes over and over and over again. So that's basically how it works. Uh, I think I'll come back on once the, the cubes are in there just to show you the little cubes and everything. All right, I wanted to show you uh, the uh, ice while it was in process. So it was sitting on the grid there. It's already cut through the wires which go in that direction. Okay, now it's going to cut through the wires that go in that direction. So when it comes out, it's going to come out as little cubes, as you can see there. I don't know why I have to keep explaining that, but I just feel compelled to. And it's making another slab of ice. That ice has already gotten to be, uh, I don't know, probably a, a half inch thick at this point. Or maybe, yeah, probably about a half inch thick at this point at the back. So this ice will drop through there once that cycle is done. And those wires, you know, low voltage wires that cut the ice into into ice chunks, and then they're going to drop down into that tray there. So I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so 
the ice is starting to fall out of the top there. You can kind of see it coming down one piece at a time. So as it cuts through each you know piece of ice, it'll drop down into the tray below there. These are the pieces on the end, the, the thinner pieces. But uh, as you can see, nice chunks of ice there. Whoops, wait a second here. Let's drop that one. Nice little chunks of ice right there. And uh, obviously it comes down as it as it goes out of there. So you kind of get the idea there, and it'll drop into that tray. As soon as that tray fills up to this level, it will stop producing ice because that's the sensor that tells it to stop producing ice so it doesn't overfill it. And then um, one more thing I want to show you about this. Okay, the water reservoir back there, when you go to uh, do a cleaning of this thing, you know, which would happen, let's say you had a season of barbecuing, you took it offline, you know, you wanted to clean it out and everything to end the season. What you're going to do is you're going to take that drain plug out right there and that's going to drain that reservoir of any of any water so that you don't get, you know, stale water, you know, corroded water sitting in there, you know, so that, that's the little drain plug right there that you'll take out to do that. It's kind of cool in here. But anyway, so you kind of get the idea of the way it all works here and uh, it'll just kind of fill it from the slab that's in there right now. There'll be a lot more chunks later on, but I just wanted to show you that now. I'm running out of time because the storage unit here is closing, so I think I'm going to conclude the video here by saying that this is the, this concludes the working demonstration video of the Viking ice unit. And there it is. Nice little unit, and uh, you know you can use it as a complement, I guess, to your home refrigerator as well. It will definitely be more productive than a standard ice maker in a, in a regular refrigerator. And that's it. Thanks for watching.